today I'm doing an updated how I get beachy waves using a curling iron instead of a flat iron. Today I'll be using the Kristen S. This is her one inch titanium plated curling iron with a clip. That's a difference. Curling iron has a clip. A curling wand will be just this without the clip. So let's do the before and let's jump into it. I'm going to split my hair right above my ears to have this section right here. I don't really worry about the lowest hair on the bottom just because you won't really see it and it's shorter than the rest of my hair, so I don't like to spend too much time on it. For the hair clips that I like to use, these are by T3. They sent me a package over last year and I've been using them since. They're just good. Another option is Amazon. I have a bunch from Amazon as well. And then this hairbrush, you guys always ask what this is. This is the Tangle Teaser, their ultimate finisher. I like to split my hair right in the middle, in the back, and bring as much of it as I can forward. It does not have to be perfect, but this is where I start and I curl the hair from the back to the front. This is giving me a little bit more confidence in myself that I get most of the hair curled <laughs> and styled. So instead of going from the front to the back, I go from the back to the front. So then this, like I said, I don't really, I don't really worry too much about the bottom. I'm not gonna clip all the hair towards the bottom. I'm gonna leave a bunch of it out, give a little twist, hold it there. And then I'm gonna do a little twist underneath and I'm gonna take the clip and clip it just a little bit and then kind of give this little twist again, and then kind of bring it down and back up, twist, and then very slowly drag the bottom ends while holding the clip open just a tiny bit. You see how it's not really that kind of a curly curl, a curly wave that you get with a curling iron? It's more straight and it elongates the hair, kind of mimics a flat iron. That's how I like to do my hair with a curling iron. And I feel like a lot of people will like and enjoy this better than a flat iron just because you don't have to twist your wrist all a lot, you mostly twist just the tool. So again, do the same thing. Do only the top, leaving most of the hair out. Hold it there for eight to 10 seconds, maybe less depending how thick, coarse, how high your heat is. Untwist it, well, not untwist it, but twist it down. I'm gonna bring it over, bring it up and then untwist and then drag it down very, very gently, making sure you open the clip up just a little bit so it's not ripping your hair out. You try them, um... And with this hair, I'm going away from my face. If you're gonna go towards your face, it's the same exact thing. So let's say I'm going away from my face, but you're gonna twist towards your face. It's gonna be wrong, so let me quickly show you that. So let's do that, but I'm gonna twist. See, it's not even gonna let you twist towards your face. You're always gonna wanna twist away. Just like that. One more time. And I usually do two, two times, usually on the shorter hair, just because there's not much else to twist. <laughs> It's kind of a self-explanatory thing. It will make, it will force you to go only a certain direction. So with this, if I try to go the other way, it's not gonna let me. So underneath, bring it up just a tiny bit, like halfway, and then untwist and drag it down. So you guys see the difference? It kind of elongates the hair, but you get a lot of wave out of that section, even though the section is short. Same thing on this side. I'll be going away. And I do believe a lot of this has to do with the type of curling iron that you use. You want something that's a lot more gentler on your hair. And that's why I like Kristen S. It's just a very straight to the point curling iron, titanium plates. It's very even heating on your hair and you can really use the clip to your advantage. I personally don't like clips that are very hard to open. Just a lot of curling irons, the clip is very hard to control to, like, to your advantage. So I really like curling irons that work with you, not against you. Usually for this, I'll just stick with three major sections, the bottom, the middle, and then the top. 
Same thing, split it in the back, and then just bring your hair towards the front. And I always make sure to brush it through before I go in and style it. So the longer hair, the more hair you leave out out of the curling iron, the straighter the ends will be. If you don't want such straight ends, just bring most of your hair into the curling iron. Curling my hair like this is one of the easiest and the fastest and the most results I can get just because I can really manipulate the curling iron to my need. If I want super beachy, super straight ends, I can get them. And if I don't, I can just Basically not do any twists and just leave it in the hair and just let it out. So if you guys wanna see what that looks like, a difference with not twisting the curling iron, let me quickly show you. I'll do this, I'll do a closer section to the front. So these curls, I wouldn't say they're better or worse than flat irons. It just depends how much heat you put in your hair, how many twists you do, how long you hold it on the curling iron, just because with the flat iron, the plates are literally on your hair. So this right here, some of your hair is not covered with the other plate. With the flat iron, your hair is covered from side to side. With the curling iron, only one side is covered with the plate, sometimes. Sometimes a section can be covered, but I think you understand what I'm saying. All right, so let me quickly show you how I would do it if I wouldn't twist my hair. So I'm still gonna leave some hair out, just because I don't really like the super curly ends. I'm gonna show you the difference. So instead of twisting or kind of making the hair go long, kind of like as a flat iron, I'm just gonna let it out. So you see the difference? It's more, there's more of a wave instead of the hair going down and it elongates the curl. This has more of like a barrel effect. With this, I can't really put my finger through just because it's a lot longer and it's more stretched out, kind of like with a flat iron. But with this, it's just, it's not ugly, but I prefer it the other way. Like this doesn't look like a beachy wave for me personally. A beachy wave is longer, it's a little bit tighter. And again, when you're pulling the ends through, make sure you always have a tiny little gap open. That's why I say a good curling iron is gonna make a world of a difference for you. And it's gonna make you either it's gonna work against you or it's gonna work for you. A little twist underneath. A little twist and then let go a little bit and pull through. Just kinda let the hair hang out. And now we have the last section, which is the top section. And again, I'm gonna split it in the back, bring it forward and brush it through. Very simple. And you can also do this with a bigger curling Barrel, you can do 1.25 inches. That one's actually really nice. They're not gonna be as tight curls, which is totally fine. But I just wanna show you guys a little bit of a tighter curl that you can kind of mimic a flat iron. This is what I was saying. With the flat iron, this hair would be covered with the, the plate. So you see this little section is only covered with the plate. So this is not getting as much heat as a curling iron or flat iron. <laughs> Not a curling iron, flat iron. So with this top section, I'm not taking all the hair all the way through. I'm leaving a good four inches out and I'm just kind of focusing on the top. Then I'll all wind the first section and then bring it down, leaving a good inch out and then winding it back up to about halfway. But you see the curl right here, that's from the little twist that you do. One more twist, and then you can even do one more twist and then just bring it down. Like you can really go have fun with this. You can do only one twist, you can do five twists, you can do a lot of twists, depending how thick your barrel is, how long your hair is, or just basically how many twists you want. And this is a really good technique if you have very, very long hair, 
This is, I personally think it's a lot easier than with a flat iron. Nice, front pieces look even. <laughs> and if you're wondering, I had I have my curling iron set at 365 Fahrenheit. So now I usually just kind of let my hair chill, do its thing, let it really settle, really release the heat, cool off, and then I go in either with a texture spray, maybe a little bit of a light hairspray. If I need a little bit more moisture in my hair, I'll use a dry conditioner if I need to absorb the extra oils. I'll go in with a dry shampoo, but today my hair feels pretty good. I just want a little bit of texture in my hair just because it is very silky and smooth. I kind of want to break it apart a little bit using texture spray. And I'll be using Living Proof, their body builder. I'll usually spray towards the bottom, pick up my hair and spray it underneath. And then using my fingers, just kind of starting from the bottom in the back, very gently kind of shaking the hair out and just kind of using my fingers as little finger combs. <laughs> and then I'll go in and add it to the top of my head. If I feel like I need to add a little bit more body towards the top, just kind of break it apart. And that completes the look, you guys. I just love that you can create this with a curling iron, where it's usually with the curling iron, they look more of like, they're very bouncy. You can't really get such a defined type of curl. They're more gonna be of a wave and they're gonna fall out very bouncy, which is beautiful. I love that type of look, but when I want a beachy look, I really wanna see those really individual types of waves or curls in the hair, kind of like as you would with a braid. You know, you braid your hair at the beach, you take it out and then that salty, watery kind of dries in your hair and it creates those really beautiful kinks and waves and curls in your hair. I just love that type of look and especially the straighter ends. Like not all of them are straight, they're just, some of them are a little bendy, some of them are straighter, some of them are going underneath, some of them are going out. That's what I like with this look. You can really, you can really have fun with it and use a curling iron to your advantage. Even though I love flat iron beach waves, I think they're stunning. I feel like this is very versatile, especially for short hair, medium hair, long hair. It's just, it's very, very great. I like it because you have the curl, you have the, you have the clip doing most of your work for you, which is great. And you can use different types of barrel sizes to get different types of looks, which I really appreciate. So if you have longer hair, go for a longer, a thicker barrel as well. They have extra long barrels with long hair and then extra, like do like a 1.25 inch, maybe even a 1.5 inch if you want really like those loose beachy waves. But if you want something a little bit tighter and something that you can really see and they will last beautifully and they will fall out really nicely, go for a one inch. I think this is a great kind of medium. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I kind of wanted to give my tips along the way. Let me know what's your favorite way to curl your hair. Curling iron, is it one of those bed wavers that's so popular nowadays? Is it heatless waves? Is it a braid? Is it a flat iron? Let me know, but so far, I, I, I don't remember the last time I reached for my flat iron. I feel like it was like a half a year ago to really create those loose waves, like for those kind of everyday type of curls that I've been doing off of camera. I've been really reaching for the curling iron for some reason. Let me know what you guys think of this look. Thank you for spending time with me and my curling iron, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Bye.